Dr. Isaac Newton, he is a very famous mathematician, very famous scientist, a physicist, and of course he has given us calculus, a branch of mathematics which we call calculus. He has already, or he, he has also come up with the laws of universal gravitation, but of course, um, one of the most important laws that he has given us in physics or in science would be the loss of motion. Okay, so the three laws of motion. Now, uh, the first law of motion that we have here, or Newton's first law, the other term for this would be the law of inertia. Okay, the meaning of inertia is on the screen. This is the ability to resist change in motion. Okay, which means that if you have an object which is at rest, that means if an object is not moving, it is not going to move unless there is an external force that acts upon it. Okay, an object at rest will stay at rest unless there is an external force that acts upon it. On the other hand, if you have a moving object, okay, if you have an object which is in motion, it will continue moving unless there is an external force that acts upon it. Okay, so that's your law of inertia, Newton's first law. Inertia, again, is the ability to resist change. Now, let's take a look at some examples that we have here. Okay, so this is one example that we have. I'd like you to please take a look at your uh, animation. Um, what I see with the skateboard is that it just keeps going until it runs into the rock because it doesn't want to stop. Okay. Um, it, so uh, what's the result of that? What happens then? Um, the person on the skateboard falls off due to the force required to stop the skateboard. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is one application of Newton's first law. That's precisely the reason why you should be wearing your seatbelts. Okay, that is the reason why seatbelts are very important. Okay, if you don't have your, your seatbelts, if you're not wearing your seatbelts, then you are going to have an accident. Okay, your, your head might, be, might get slammed in any part of your car or you might be um, propelled. Okay, you, you might fly out of the car. Okay, so that's exactly the reason why you should be wearing your seatbelts. So again, this is your inertia, okay? The ability to resist movement, to, to resist any change in movement. If you are not moving, you are not going to move unless there is an external force that makes you move. If you're moving, then you your body has a tendency to continue moving unless there is an external force that stops you. This is also the reason why if you try to um, observe your runners, okay, if people are running, once they have hit the finish line or once they have reached the finish line, they don't stop suddenly, okay, because that is going to hurt their feet or their legs, okay? So what they do is they still continue moving for, for um, a few distance, okay? So again, this is the first law of motion, the law of inertia, an object at rest will continue to stay that way, will continue to be at rest. An object in motion will continue moving unless there is an external force that acts upon it. 